Hey, what's going on guys? SuperNick19 back here today with a little bit of a different video. It is a video that I've wanted to do for a while now, actually, but I never really got a chance to do it or I never really knew how to go about doing it, I guess this is the best way for me to put it. But this is going to be a game that I've been playing for a decently long time. Uh, I started playing this game back when the beta for Android devices came out. I signed up for the beta and uh, actually was one of the first testers on my certain device. I have an HTC One M8 and I was one of the top 10, I think, testers. So I've been playing this for a while. Um, it is now officially out. It's been out for a while now, uh, officially for both Android and iOS. But before we talk about that, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the game. This game is called Vainglory. Now, this is a very different type of mobile game. If you haven't heard of it, haven't seen it, um, this is what we call a MOBA, and it's extra special because it's a mobile MOBA. Um, it is mobile because it's for mobile devices. Uh, you can get it on iPad, iPhone, most Android phones and tablets. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not allowed for Windows Phone, but there aren't many of those out there. No offense if you have a Windows Phone. Um, so you can basically play this anywhere where you have a semi-decent internet connection. You know what I mean? So it, it's very easy to pick up and put down. Games typically don't last too long. Games last anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes average. And uh, a MOBA is a multiplayer online battle arena. Now this is very similar style game as games like League of Legends, Dota, Smite, the new game from Epic Paragon. Um, it's very similar style. Gameplay is gonna be a little bit different, obviously, because it's a mobile device. It's not gonna be able to push some of the different textures and assets that a computer would be able to push, but it is still a very pretty game. Very beautiful, very easy to control, not super difficult. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about some of the core, really, really core concepts of this game. This is gonna be a semi-in-depth guide to people who maybe haven't played this game yet or have heard about it but not really gotten a chance to uh, figure out what it's all about. So as you can see, you spawn in in what's called a fountain. Some people call this base. Um, it goes by many different names, but this is basically where you spawn in. And as you can see right here to my left, I have an item shop. Now there is actually two teams on this game and this is where the other team's gonna spawn completely on the other side of the map. It is gonna be you and two players against three other players. And now all the players are controlled by real people. So you're playing actual people controlling these characters, just like I'm controlling right now. I can move around and uh, you're basically trying to get into their base and destroy this giant crystal now this is called the vein it goes by other names in other mobas but in this one it's called the vein now you have your base and your base is basically from this turret i'm standing next to all the way back into where you spawn and i'll go ahead and walk over there right now but this is basically the inside of your base it's it's hard to get to not many people not many characters can get in here just all willy-nilly it does take some time to get into during the game but what we're walking on right now with all the turrets, as you can see, there's another one right here next to me and another one right here. And finally, we're gonna get to about the midway point of the map. Now you can see these little creatures, we'll call them for right now. We'll go over the actual name later. These creatures are fighting. Now you can see some are blue, blue signifying that they are on my side. And you can see that some are red, red signifying that they are working for the enemy team basically now what these minions do is they don't do much they don't do too much damage of course if you have a lot of them attacking you they will do a lot more damage than you expect but as of right now i can just walk in between them uh they won't attack me as long as i don't attack them first um, but you can basically walk around and their job is to basically hold the lane down which is where i'm currently at right now and as you can see there is a beautiful vainglory logo right in the middle of the map now lane is where most of your damage carries are going to go and again we're going to go in depth over the lane position later i'm just just going to give some brief overviews just to give you an idea of how this game is full health um but what i'm going to go ahead and do now is i'm going to go into jungle now jungle's a little bit different jungle 
has what's called minion camps and that's that's the actual name of those little creatures in lane they're called minions now these will not also will not attack me unless i attack them first but they're a little different in that they are neutral as in they have no team orientation and then you have other camps this one has two bigger ones which are worth more gold we'll talk about gold in a second um you have another um big minion right here He's a little different. As you can see, he has a green ring around him where all the other minions don't. That signifies that he will give you health regen buff if you kill him. It's basically the effect of a potion. And again, we'll go super in-depth into items in a later video. But this is basically jungle. Right here where I'm standing, you'll actually have what's called a minion miner. And then towards the middle, as soon as I can walk over there, towards the middle, you will have another actually mining has begun right now as you can see this one's called gold mine he is another neutral camp um he is a little bit larger and does give you significant gold and gold is important for a number of reasons i'll explain later and as you can see the enemy jungle which is where i'm in right now after pretty much the 50 the middle of the map it, it turned into the enemy side but as you can see it's exactly the same just mirrored so this map is very symmetrical it's very easy to know where you're going both sides are almost identical the only differences are um bases really the base not layout just the base design um brushes are in exactly the same spot what i'm standing in right now is called a brush uh, we'll go over the effects and how to use it and not use it later probably in the jungle video and then you have another item shop down here now this item shop is pretty important because both teams can use this item shop whereas the one in my base only my team can use and the one in the enemy base only the enemy can use this one can be used by both and now that we've covered kind of a, the layout of the map let's go ahead and talk about gold now gold is super important i'm gonna go ahead and level up some abilities and we'll talk about abilities later again um gold is super important because gold actually lets you buy items as you can see i killed that minion and i got an extra 40 gold that i didn't originally have now the act of actually killing the minions is called last hitting i will go more in depth on that in the laning video but let's go ahead and just uh get get some gold so we can buy some items just to show you all kind of what it's like so as you can see these items right here there's weapon items, ability items, defense items, utility items, and then consumables. Consumables are pretty self-explanatory. You buy one, and then if you use it, it's gone. You can only use so, as many as you have. Now, everything costs gold, and you can see the gold amount right next to everything. So the heavy prism, for example, this one right here. If I were to buy this, it would cost me 1,050 gold. Now I have 1,764 right now, so I can afford it. So I'll go ahead and buy it. And then it subtracts the gold you have. So as you can see, getting gold is very important in this game because the more gold you get, the more items you can buy. Now, the objective of the game, as I said, is to get into the base and destroy their vein. But as you can see, each team has five different turrets that you have to destroy first in order to get into the base and start doing damage to the vein. So what you would do is take your time and of course this is faster with more people you would take clear out these minion waves because they come in waves they don't come consistently um, you take these minion waves push into the turret and we'll talk about pushing and all that other stuff um, position stuff like positioning trading in the uh, lane guide in-depth lane guide but what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna go ahead and kill the minions kill the turret everybody you, you see that it it's it says enemy turret destroyed plus 300 gold each now this 300 gold is what's called global gold and the reason it's called global gold is because that everybody on your team gets it uh gold miner actually does the same thing once the gold miner is full he will give 300 gold also and it will be global gold but say if i were to come down here and kill these two minions right here so i'm just using the abilities i will talk about abilities in depth later and of course they're different for each hero um so i got gold from both of those minions but the difference between global gold and that gold is is only i get them because i killed it 
So that's super important. You want to make sure that you're taking down objectives um, such as turrets and gold mine uh, in order to get global gold to get gold for everybody else. Now you can continue to push this wave and pushing the wave is exactly what it sounds like. You're taking it from your side and pushing it into their base. And we'll talk a little bit more about how you would want to do that in the laning video. But you're basically going to push all the way into their base and start destroying their vein now once that's done of course you win the game and you can win the game by either pushing all the way into their base and destroying their vein or if the enemy team surrenders and if you go to scoreboard you can see the exit practice that's usually a surrender button now now that that's covered we're going to go ahead and talk about this whole display that you see here um, so in the top left you're going to see a little chat bubble above that chat bubble is going to be your gold so that's how much gold you currently have your kills, your deaths, your assists, your minion kills, which is how many minions you've killed, and the time. Now under that, you're gonna have social, social pings, which can mean a whole bunch of different things depending on who you're playing with, of course, because they don't actually say okay, or good job, or retreat, or anything like that, that sometimes they are not received in the right way, but you have these social pings here, um, and then you also have your in-game pings up to the right. Now on the top right, you can see a little target. You can see a little caution sign. You can see a little person running. You can see three arrows going to a dot, and you can also see a question mark. And these, these of course, mean different things. Um, the crosshair would kind of mean, hey, go target that. The caution sign obviously means caution. Don't go there. Something dangerous could happen. The person running usually means I'm going there. I'm going to that spot. The three arrows coming together in a circle usually mean everybody meet meet there, meet somewhere, or, or go go to that spot. And then the question mark just means you don't know what's there or missing if, if your laner is missing. And again, we'll talk about that later in detail. Under these pings, you have what's called a mini map, and that just gives a brief. It gives a very small view of the map. Of course, you can see right here on the mini map, you can see the orange wave pushing into my turret. And if I actually hold on the minimap, it'll take me there on the actual screen. So it will take me to where I'm pointing my finger on the minimap. And under on the bottom right, you have the items. So even if you're in lane, you're not next to a shop, you can look at your items, see what you want to buy next. Now you can only buy if you're near a shop, just like it says in the bottom right, must be near a shop to buy. But you still can look at the items while you're just standing in lane or in jungle. Uh, you have the scoreboard, which is self-explanatory. It shows what items they have, how many kills, how many deaths, team kills. Next to the scoreboard, you have learn, which basically gives you a brief overview of what your abilities do. Um, so for my first ability, it says, I form a small star in a target location, dealing crystal damage to nearby enemies. And my second ability, a brief delay, the target location collapses and nearby enemies are stunned and take crystal damage. So it basically just shows you what your abilities do, a brief description. Of course, it doesn't show you what in-depth description, in-depth meaning uh, how much damage it does, if it scales with crystal or weapon, um, what, what how much damage it does at different levels, uh, cooldown timers, it doesn't show anything like that. And it also shows you your heroic perk. Now every hero has a heroic perk. So like I said, gold mine gives you global gold. Well, after 15 minutes, something else shows up is the Kraken. Now the Kraken is super, super important at around 15 minutes, which is considered late game for this kind of game. Kraken is a giant monster. She, it is a girl. What she does basically is if you can deal enough damage to her, she will work for your team basically. Now what she'll do is, depending on what team takes her, she will go up to lane and start pushing turrets for you. Now, as she looks, she's a very large monster as you can see. As she looks, she is very hard to take down by yourself. That being said, some heroes can do it. Um, heroes such as Kroll, Glaive, maybe a Rona if you have lifesteal. And again, we'll talk about all of this later. This is just some examples. Um, usually you want to have at least two people taking Kraken because she hurts and she takes a lot of damage. If you take Kraken, you can push into the enemy's base a little bit easier because you have 
the giant she monster helping you take down turrets tanking and we'll talk about what tanking is a little bit later you have the giant she monster taking turrets and tanking for you um but this is a basic overview of the game guys it's not super difficult now of course this game and games like it such as league of legends smite uh dota can be very casual you can play these games super casually if you want to however they are a rabbit hole of competitiveness now sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad now sometimes that can make the people that play the game take it a little bit too seriously luckily vainglory as it is now doesn't really have that problem the community in vainglory is very very non-toxic and I, when i say non-toxic i mean they don't get as mad as you for making little mistakes of course some people do um they let you have more fun and play around especially if you can play if you play with friends so here we have and i'm glad i have one here we have a play next button now the play next button is if you have a friend in game right now and you want to play next with them you can you totally can and it'll just say to play a match with you in another game after this match and you can either accept or decline on the bottom right and that's recall and that's exactly as it sounds you're you're recalling back to your own base it does take a little bit of time to channel and if you get hit during that channel you will stop recalling so you want to make sure you use it at a good time or just make sure you have a big enough time window to use it and now in the bottom middle you have the ability buttons now every hero's ability is a little different not all of them work the same again hers has a very large target location they're very aoe style aoe as in an area of effect they're just a big aoe damage so you can hit a lot of people at the same time and i think that's pretty much it if i miss something you are more than welcome because i know i did i know i did if i miss something you're more than welcome to uh talk about it in the comments below uh if you think that i didn't cover something the right way go ahead and put it in the comments below we're here to help people get used to this game now again guys i am going to cover all the different positions in later videos they're going to be a little bit more in depth i'm going to have more time to talk on them of course this is, was this was supposed to be a very general overview of this game but uh i think i did it justice i think i did okay so i will start by in terms of positions in the game i'll probably start in what i think is the easiest and then go to what i think is the hardest so the order i'm going to do that is going to be lane and then jungle and then roam and those are the three positions of the game so that's the order i'm going to cover them in of course i'll talk about items when i'm talking about lane or jungle because those really depend on the type of hero you pick and then Rome is a whole nother monster that I'm not even ready to cover yet because I need to actually like write down my thoughts um, in order to do that justice. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned a little. I hope I, I explained everything in semi-simple terms. I know it's a lot of information to take in. But, you know, if you have friends that you want to tell about this game, and you don't really know how to explain it or how to word it, this, this, that's what I'm making this for. I want to bring as many people into Vainglory as possible because I really do enjoy this game. I think it's a fun game. It's a quick game. You have you can sit down if you have a 30-minute window. You can play a game, and you're good. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's super awesome. Of course, you can play with friends. You can make new friends. It's a whole experience that more people should have. And again, it's like on almost any major device so it's not like you need a really expensive computer to play it or you need an xbox or a playstation you know what i mean like anybody can play it so i do hope you enjoyed the video guys again if i missed anything please put it in the comments below you're more than welcome to it if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it go ahead and give it a thumbs down and i hope to see you guys in my later videos thank you so much for joining me later